Hey, I'm Dale, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use a Sharpie and a piece of paper to help kind of premeditate your compositions uh, and thought process kind of behind the scenes before you get into the post-processing side, so before you get into Photoshop uh, and kind of create a way in which you can just pick up a piece of paper, go, yep, that's exactly what I wanna do, and then just go straight on into it. Let's try it. Okay, so what I've got here is uh, an A4 piece of paper with the raw, unedited uh, shot that I wanna work on. Uh, generally what I do is I get a pen, Sharpie, something like that, and then I start looking at the, the composition um, that I kind of wanna work with. So uh, the reason why I chose this composition in the first place was kind of because uh, of the three kind of elements that you've got. You've got the rock here in the foreground leading through here via that, so that's number two, to number three, which is this structure here in the middle. So I'm just gonna have a look at this and see what I can do to kind of help add to it. Uh, first things first, in my mind, I'm kind of gonna go through with the clone tool and, and get rid of bits and pieces um, that I don't think help add to the feel of the image. So I'm probably gonna get rid of uh, that little bit of, uh, of rock and stuff that's exposed there and just uh, clone in or blend in some of, the, uh, some of the snow there. Just because that little triangle that you can see there, in my mind, is actually taking your eye out of the frame, which is something that we don't want there. Uh, something that I, did, <laughs> that I did wrong on the night when it was freezing cold is I stepped just in front of this cool kind of circular oval um, kind of trench that was created by the, um, the snow and the wind and, and the rock that's there. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of that bit of snow that's fallen down and continue the, um, continue the circle that you can see there. Uh, what else? Okay, so in terms of the circle, it seems to go around fairly well. So you can see there that that circle is kind of like pulling you in to the kind of mid mid ground there. I can see there's a couple of uh, bits of snow, kind of a footprint down there, so I can get rid of that. Uh, some more fin footprints just there, so I can blend those out. Um, here, it looks like I've got footsteps kind of leading up to it. Uh, that's fine, but on this left-hand side of the rock here, it's kind of cutting into the edge of the rock there, uh, just because it's behind it. So what I might do is I might actually get rid of get rid of that. Okay, so we've gone through, we've worked out the elements that we like, kind of leading up to it. Gone through and kind of worked out the things that we need to, to clone. Oh, I've just spotted another one there. Looks like this rock here is kind of out, uh, is kind of like leading your eye out just because it's creating a kind of a V shape out of there. So what I might do is I might um, I might cut that, cut that out a little bit there. That way, when you're looking at it uh, as a shape on this side, all this rock is doing is kind of leading down and pointing towards kind of this line and helping with that leading line composition here. Same as the, same as the the foreground. So this oval here is kind of like helping you go in there. That's helping you point in. Um, on this left hand side, I think. I wanna get rid of this little bit of dead space here. So what I might do is I might crop or warp and maybe get rid of uh, that little rock there. That way you could kind of got rock on the right hand side, you've got rock on the left hand side, and it's kind of helping you uh, move your eye in because you can see that there, that ridge kind of in the background is going in. Um, now, let's look at a little bit of dodging and burning, another beautiful technique in Photoshop. So what I might do is I might dodge here, just to kind of help give some dimension to the rocks. Now this was lit up by the moonlight and something I wanna do is try to emphasize that. One way I can emphasize it is with the creation of shadows. So what I might do is I might do some burning in here to kind of help allude to the fact that the light was coming in that direction and I might do little bit of burning there as well. Now, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, 
these uh, stars here. So this was uh, shot at uh, 22 mils uh, for 15 seconds. Usually at 15 seconds you're okay uh, when it comes to like um, stars trailing and stuff, but for some reason the <clears throat> the stars in this shot do have a little trail to them. So what I might do is I might actually blend in a, a shot that I did earlier with a quicker shutter speed. So, um, and quicker stars. Okay, cool. Um, and something I can do to kind of help add add a little bit of atmosphere to the shot as well, is I can just use a soft brush around those. So we'll add some uh, glow and we can kind of blend in an autumn uh, layer there as well. Uh, dodging and burning, so more dodging of the areas that are exposed to the light. So there, and then dodge in there as well. It's kind of scattered, it's all over the place, but this I find is a good way to kind of get your images to get, uh, kind of get your story together um, and helps kind of, helps me personally with the editing as well. So that light there, we kind of want to emphasize that kind of angle as well. So we'll do some dodging there. Perfect. I think, I think that's pretty much it for this image. So for most images that I, um, that I do now, I go through and I add uh, kind of notes and bits and pieces to kind of help, <laughs> help me. So all that stuff is compartmentalized. Uh, it's not in my head. It's down on paper. It's kind of ready. Uh, ready to go when I come into Photoshop. I know that that image, I kind of want that stuff going, uh, happening to it, that image, I want that stuff going to it, and uh, so on and so forth. Hopefully you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments, uh, like, subscribe, all those good things, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.